Since this course is all about pipelines, so let us first understand what is the difference between a freestyle job and a pipeline job. Okay, so you see here on the left side there are various options and if we go to the first option which is new item, that is a place from where you can create the jobs. Okay, and inside that you will be seeing a lot of options. Uh, you can create various types of jobs. So the first type that you see on the top is freestyle project. And here below that you see the pipeline. All right. So we'll be talking about other jobs later. For now, we are just trying to understand the difference between these two. To create a new job, you first need to enter the name of that job and then you need to select the type. So for freestyle, I'm just selecting it and then I click on OK. So it will create a new job for me with that name and then it will open up the configurations for that job. So if you see here, we have various configurations related to how I want to uh, parameterize the job, how uh, would be the source code management uh, being taken care, what would be the build steps, what would be the build environment, what are the post build actions. So for now, uh, let me add a very simple build step which is just to execute a bat command and there I just mentioned that I want to echo my name. So uh, I put a simple command echo Kamal and then I save it. So we have successfully created our first job and here you see if I want to run it, I can click on this link. So here we have created our first job and if I click on this icon, we can run the job. All right. So you see here the job has been run and here you can see the status so if you open it and then you go to console output you would be seeing the logs for that job so you see here we have executed this command and here is the output all right so that is our first freestyle job which we have created it is kind of hello world uh, we have not given any more configurations we have just added one build step and that was also not doing anything rather than just printing a simple message later anytime if you want to reconfigure the job there is option you can click on this configure link and then you can change the settings and then you can save again now let us create the second job which would be of pipeline type so i put the new name here and then i select pipeline here and then i click on ok so it will also create a new job the upper part is looking similar let me scroll down here so build trigger is also here so it is also similar so if we further scroll down uh, there was option of scm there but it is not here so after that we have advanced project options and if we further scroll down so that is a unique feature that we have in pipeline jobs so it is having one drop down which says either i can put the script here directly or I can use the Jenkins file. So in the next tutorial, we'll be seeing how to put a script here and run the job. And then we'll be using Jenkins file throughout the course to create the various types of jobs and basically to add the steps in those jobs. So we'll be learning uh, the syntaxes, we'll be seeing how uh, other plugins we can use and then we'll be seeing how we can trigger from one machine to some other nodes, for example, some virtual machine or some Docker container or maybe some AWS node. So that is all coming up. That's all for now. I will see you in the next video.